Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to cook some chorizo with potatoes. Um, you can use regular chorizo for this recipe, but I swear like people do not even realize when you give them chorizo. But I mean, you should probably still tell people because some people are allergic to soy. But if you want to learn how to make this recipe, just keep on watching. Okay, so for ingredients, you're going to need half of a large onion or one small onion. Uh, soy chorizo and this, hopefully you guys can see it. This is my favorite brand by Reynaldo's. Um, I have tried like the ones they saw at Fraser Farms and Sprouts, but I really honestly don't like it. But in this, you can find anywhere. And then um, depending on the size of your potatoes, you're going to need like three to six. So I'm using six small potatoes. Um, and then you're gonna need some chili powder, some cayenne pepper, and some paprika. If you don't like um, spice, uh, skip out on the cayenne pepper because it's a little spicy. Salt and pepper to taste, and then any type of oil. The first thing you wanna do is uh, dice up your onion. So I'm gonna cut it in half, and the easiest way to do this is literally go like this. Don't get to the edge make them pretty thick and then you just go down Boom. my eyes are watering I swear there's so many things that I've tried that say like, oh, try this to not make your eyes cry and everything still fails. Oh. Okay, you guys, I know I said half an onion, but I think I'm going to do the full onion because that's not enough onion for me. If this is too much onion for you, just go with uh, half of the onion. But honestly, it just, it gets so small that you really, it like disappears. You can't really taste the onion. So I'm just gonna set my onion to the side. So you pretty much just want the potatoes to all be roughly the same size. I usually try to cut mine probably like around sizes like this. This one's probably too big. Only because if the potato is bigger, it will take longer to cook. Okay, so normally right after I would be done cutting the onion, I would come and put it in here. Meanwhile, chop the potato. But just because I was trying to show you guys everything at once, that's why I did it that way. So that will make it go faster. Turn your pot to medium high heat. And then we're going to do... Oh, I should measure this for you guys. Okay quarter cup of oil and I know that some of you guys are probably thinking like oh my god that's so much oil but it's just if you don't do this your potatoes are going to stick to the bottom and it's just it's not going to be good but I mean you could always do less oil have your papa stick to the pan if that's what you want you do you once your oil is hot you want to go ahead and you want to hear that you want to go ahead and just throw your onion in there and you just want to let this cook until it gets a little softened and you'll see it get like translucent. Okay, so my onions are translucent now. That took roughly about two minutes. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and add my potatoes. Just try to mix it all so that the potatoes are all covered with oil. Um, if, you're, if it's looking like all your oil is used up, you can add a little more. But, I mean, 
It looks pretty good. So now you want to start adding your spices. I pretty much just sprinkle until it changes colors, but I'm going to start off with one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of chili powder, and then cayenne pepper. Um, you guys can start out with one eighth of a teaspoon, which is I think the smallest. But like I said, if you don't like spice, pass up on it. But I'm just gonna eyeball this. But just start off with one eighth. And then just mix it off. Okay, so you see this? That's what I mean that your potatoes will stick. You can turn it down a little bit, but I want my potatoes to get crispy. And then I'm just gonna do, um, you pretty much just do salt and pepper to taste. And I'm just gonna leave this on high to get it to, um, or medium high to get it to crisp up a bit. And then I'm gonna put the temperature down too low. Okay, so you pretty much just want to keep mixing your potatoes, but don't like go like this. Like try to lift, because if not, you're just going to make mashed potatoes pretty much. Uh, and just do that for a few minutes. And then, uh, see all that? That's getting stuck on the back of the, on the bottom of the pan. Just keep scratching. Those are really good pieces. Like, you know, you always hear people say that and you think like you're crazy, but it's not. It's just extra flavor. So you turn down your temperature too low. And then I'm just going to cover it. I don't have a lid for this pot. If you have a lid for your pot, go ahead and use it. But I don't. So I'm just going to use foil. And just check on it every few minutes to make sure your potatoes don't burn. <clears throat> Roughly after about 10 to 15 minutes, your potatoes will be soft. What I do is I just take a, a toothpick and I just poke my potato. I try it too. Mm. This is when you wanna see like if, if it's not spicy enough for you, you wanna add mine. It needs a little bit more salt. Okay, so now you just wanna add your, your sorizo. So what I usually do is I just make like a slit, like that, and then it falls right out. See? And you just want to break the sodiso down. And then when you add the sodiso, just have it like on a medium heat. Okay, remember how I talked about the onion? Like, honestly, you can't even tell that there's onion in here. So, don't be afraid to use the whole onion. I used to hate onion, you guys. And now I love it. But only, like, if it's cooked. Like, I, I still can't really do it raw. And you pretty much just want to make sure your sorizo is not going to stick to the bottom of the pan. And you're just going to cook this for maybe, like, a good five minutes until your chorizo is cooked all the way through this isn't like regular chorizo where it's gonna render out a bunch of fat so don't expect for that to happen okay you guys so my chorizo is pretty much done it didn't take that much long for it to cook so now um let's just do a little taste test moment It is so good. I'm just doing a taste test for you guys because I'm not gonna eat it like this. But you guys can use this recipe for lots of things. Um, my favorite type of way to use the soy soy with potatoes is in quesadillas. It is so bomb. I'm actually gonna make some of those right now. I just use regular wheat quesadillas and this is the cheese that I use 
for quesadillas. Honestly, if you guys are looking for a good veggie cheese, use this one. It's the brand Go Veggie. <laughs> uh, and it's really good. It melts pretty good. You can also make burritos with it. Um, and another thing I like to do is like tacos dorados. Yeah, those are fire with a little bit of lettuce and sour cream. So bomb. Okay, you guys, that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Share this video with any of your friends who are vegetarian or are just trying to eat less meat nowadays. Um, this is a really good recipe. It's very easy. And I don't know if I already said subscribe, but subscribe because I do plan to bring more meatless recipes. I mean, if you do eat meat, you can always just, you know, substitute. Uh, yeah.